In this video, I'm going to show you how you reload, rerun a Python program you've written before, and what you do when things go wrong, as inevitably they will. No one ever writes correct code first time. I certainly don't. So, we're back here in idle, and what we want is to find the program we wrote last time. Let's go to File. We need to open and search, browse around for it, or it's probably here in Recent Files. So we'll get Program 1. Here we go. So we've now loaded it, and we can run it again. And it gives the same answer as last time, as one would hope. OK. But now, let's say we had stuffed something up. Let's say, for example, in this print command down here, instead of having the same sort of bracket at both sides, we had a square bracket at the back. Now, right away, you might have heard the ugly noise there. That is the program telling you that you have unpaired brackets and therefore possibly a mistake. But let's say you hadn't noticed that. So let's save this. And now we'll try and run it. And it comes up with this message. Invalid syntax. And when you come back to the program, you see it's put a little red box around whichever bit was wrong. So that makes it pretty easy to fix. You rapidly realise that these brackets are unpaired. Get rid of that. Put it on the current one. So now save that. Run. And it's working. But let's say we had a more subtle error. For example, like most programming languages, Python distinguishes upper and lower case letters as quite different things. So let's say we'd started our print with a capital P. You can see right away that any set of letters that it recognises as being a command, it colours. The fact that it hasn't recognised this as being a command, because with a capital P it's no longer a command, means it's gone black. But once again, let's say you've missed that. And we'll save. And we'll run. So it printed hello world, and then it crashed. And it's given us a trace back, telling us that there was an error in line 10, and it says name print is not defined. Also notice it did the hello world, so it means that whatever went wrong was after that hello world print command. So this worked fine. It didn't crash down here, it crashed when it got to this line. So it's telling you, look here for a fault. In this case, the fact that the letters are lower and upper case is telling you it's a problem. When you put a lowercase one, suddenly it's gone coloured, telling you it's all working very well. So let's save that and run it. All working well. Let's have another example of a mistake. Let's say, um, say c equals zero, and we tried to get d equals b over c, so we're dividing by infinity, so that won't work, and then we'll try and print d. Now this is not going to work, computers can't do that. Save, run, and it's telling us there's a mistake on line 10, d equals b over c, zero division error, which gives you a pretty good clue that you've divided by zero. If you weren't sure where the problem is, what you could do is put a print command in, like print C or print B. So just before where it crashes. Save. Run module. And it's printed B and C, and you can see that C is zero, and that explains why B over C might give grief. That's telling you what the problem is.